Um, House lawmakers being ordered to delete TikTok from their government-issued devices effective immediately. The House Chief Admin Officer saying, quote, the Office of Cybersecurity has deemed the TikTok mobile application to be a high risk to users due to a number of security risks. Tech Policy Center Director at Heritage Foundation and former DOD counterterrorism analyst Kara Frederick joins us now. Kara, great to have you here. Does this go far enough or should TikTok be banned throughout our country? Oh, absolutely the latter, Todd. I mean, when it comes to what TikTok can do to Americans' user data, what they've said is possible and what actually happens, there's always a big delta between what TikTok is um, professing to do and what they're actually uh, doing with the data of Americans. So the only thing that, in my mind, the solution to this problem is banning TikTok from operating in the United States outright. Government devices, good start, but let's go with what Senator Rubio has proposed and Representative Gallagher has proposed. Let's ban it from operating within the U.S. with IEPA uh, authorities, so Inter uh, Emergency Economic Powers Act authorities. Let's take it out of the marketplace, period. This is what we need to do to preserve the security of Americans, frankly. Do you think that it will work if they sell it to an American buyer, or are there still problems with that? Yeah, we've tried that before. This is what the Trump administration attempted to do with Oracle. Uh, again, it comes back to the assurances that we've been given by the TikTok lobbyists that have thus far proven to be untrue. They said American data wasn't accessed from Chinese by Chinese engineers uh, from their parent company, ByteDance. Not true. Uh, they said that they weren't using TikTok and ByteDance, their parent company in particular, to target Americans. Not true. And now you have TikTok lobbyists going on national television vision and saying, mm, maybe the Uyghur concentration camps that uh, China is maintaining in the Xinjiang region, maybe they're not such a big deal. I mean, we can't trust sure. uh, TikTok, period, even if they have an American company owning them to preserve the, the safety of Americans' data, period. I love that line, assurances by lobbyists. Hmm. I trust that. Not. Uh, Elon Musk calling out Google for making links disappear from the search engine. In a tweet, Musk states, quote, every social media company is engaged in heavy censorship with significant involvement of and at times explicit direction of the government. Google frequently makes links disappear, for example. Kara, what links is he talking about? Yeah, so he's talking about Google's long-standing practices, in my estimation, of de-ranking uh, specific links, specific information on their platform. Eric Schmidt, the former CEO of Alphabet, admitted to this during um, uh, when they were talking about Russian state-owned disinformation. He said, yeah, you know, we're not cool with censorship, but at the same time, we are going to prioritize what the American public can see, what everyone who uses Google can see when they're looking at the search engine. So they, they are in the uh, business, frankly of ranking information based off of what they, as a consolidated platform, want people to see. So this is part and parcel to what they've been doing for a long time. We know that they have uh, uh, disproportionately sent conservative candidates' emails to spam uh, with their spam filter algorithms um, in Gmail. So this is something that big tech companies do. The Twitter files have just proved it. It's pervasive across platforms. Yeah, it's not just Google. We've obviously talked about Twitter, and a lot of other bad ones have been uncovered. Is this going to stop now that Elon Musk has called it out, not just with Twitter, but now with Google and the like? Or is it just going to keep happening because the mainstream media doesn't seem to care? Yeah, I, again, sadly, I think the latter. When it comes to a lot of these issues, it's consequences that matter. Accountability matters, and it has to be consequences, not theater, as I've said before on this network. Because when people say, oh, we are going to hold these big tech companies accountable but do nothing, uh, you don't have deterrence there. That means that the tech companies are going to keep doing what they're doing. They're not being held to account by many public officials. They're not being held to account by the mainstream media. So wh why would they change their behavior? Not enough of people are irate about this. In fact, they're trying to downplay it as nothing burgers. I don't see much changing unless the public actually comes forward, like they said in that Rasmussen poll, and wants the FBI investigated for their conduct. Over 60% of Americans want that. Let's respond to the people, lawmakers. Let's do it. Kara Frederick, a bright light on tech issues, much like the bright lights on that tree in the background on at 517 in the morning. Kara, thanks as always. Pleasure to have you on. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.